this is 8 Live and my name is Evelyn. The temperature of Seoul right now is 21 degrees Celsius and I'm sure that many people are enjoying the beautiful weather as I speak now. Let's start with some of the latest K-Entertainment news. It's Enter News Today. JYP Entertainment announced today that you being the former member of Wonder Girls will release a new solo album on June 5th. The title of her first solo album is City Woman, also called Toshiyoza in Korean, and the filming of the music video is finished already. Yubin is the third member of um, Yubin is the third member with a solo album following fellow members Sunmi and Yeun. Sunmi and Yeun had a successful chart result with their album. I'm sure many are waiting to this solo artist Yubin and her music and her style. Next up is about the world stars. BTS arrived back to Incheon Airport this morning and they came back to Korea for schedules after winning an award at the 2018 Billboard Music Award. BTS will be having a press conference tomorrow morning on their new album and later that day at 8.30 p.m. their new release promotion starts with the comeback stage on Mnet. Just to make a note again, BTS is one top social artist at the 2018 B M, uh, sorry, BBMA on the 21st, and this was their second time winning the award. Here is the picture of one of the legendary idol groups Finkle together for their 20th debut anniversary. Sang Yuri uploaded a short clip of Lee Hyuri, Ok Ji Yeon, and Lee Jin together on her SNS yesterday. Also, Okjian's ok agency posted a picture of Finkel on their website congratulating their meaningful day. Although it's been a long time since their debut, it's lovely to see them keeping up their friendship. According to Okjian's ok agency, for their special day, Lee Jin, who currently lives in the States after getting married, has visited Lee Hyuri's house in Jeju Island. It's time to take a closer look at the keyword of the day. It's one step closer. And today's keyword is recommendation. The recently wrapped up JTBC's drama, Pretty Nuna Who Buys Me Food, uh, made actor Jung Hae-in, who took Sa Jun-hee's role, an instant star. The viewers could think that the character Sa Jun-hee was so perfect for the actor that it might have been a death scene. But actress Sun Ye Jin was behind all this. The director of the drama did not know who Jung Hae-in was at first, but Sun Ye Jin introduced and recommended the actor to him. After having looked through Jung Hae-in's clips, the director was convinced that the actor was a perfect match for the character Sa Jun Hee. Like this case, there are some of the matches of stars and characters or programs. Yoon Si Yoon and Jin Se Yeon were on TV Joseon's Grand Prince, and the viewers liked this couple so much. Jin Se Yeon got the role first, and she recommended actor Yoon Si Yoon to the director. Lee Da Kwa, Lee Kyung Kyu, and rapper Microdot are on Channel A's main variety show, The City Fisherman, and Microdot was recommended by the comedian Lee Kyung Kyu. They were on SBS Law of the Jungle together, and they are keeping their friendship on a new show. Actor Jang sang -un and Im chang Jung were on the movie Roman Holiday and they starred in the recent, recently released movie Gate. Im chang Jung is in the production of the movie Gate and he asked Jang sang -un to be in the movie. Later in the interview, he revealed that he was very drunk when he accepted the role. In movie Be With You, So Ji Sop and Ko Chang Sok appeared as best friends, and this could happen because So Ji Sop recommended Ko Chang Sok to the director. So Ji Sop said that although he recommended the fellow actor, Ko Chang Sok liked the scenario, and the production team also liked the actor as well. KBS Confession Couple wasn't expected to be a hit drama at first, but at the end, it got a title of well-made drama. Actress Chang Nara led the drama very well, and it's surprising who recommended her to the director. It was the director's older sister's recommendation. 
At the press conference, he revealed this secret. Pan Jin positioned herself as a leading female role, uh, role star after the TV and drama Another Miss O, oh, and she also was recommended by someone. And he was the producer of TV and another drama, The Three Musketeers. Uh, Musketeers. And the producer and Pan Jin first met on the program, and he strongly recommended her to the production crew of the drama. After Lee Seung Gi leaving for his military duty, An Jae Hyun filled his spot on TVN's new journey to the West. This, uh, this actor wasn't really a variety program type of a guy at first, but Lee Seung Gi recommended him. These two actors met on the SBS drama You're All Surrounded, and Lee Seung Gi saw the hidden talent in An Jae Hyun, so he recommended to the producer. On SBS drama It's Okay, That's Love, Lee Sang Kyung was recommended by the director's daughter. And I'm sure that daughter, she definitely has the eyes to catch something in stars. And lastly, Radio Star, the NBC's main variety program's writer, recommended actor Yu Jun Yeol to TVN's hit drama Reply 1988. And this was revealed by Yoon Jong Shin on Radio Star, and one of the guests, Lee Se Young at the time, also said that Yoo Jin Young does know the fact that the writer recommended him for the drama. Although these stars had a little bit of extra hands on, on taking the roles, but if they weren't so qualified, then these actors and actresses wouldn't have had the success after all, right? And this was it for today's One Step Closer. And it's time for A to Go, briefing you on the clips that NewsAid will be releasing later today. NewsAid has Victon and Snooper clips ready to be released. Uh, Victon, the group that's going to have their first comic stage today, visited NewsAid, and you guys will have you guys have to see this or see them playing these games because these guys are very very competitive. And Snooper, these boys were just. So so confident about their teamwork, so let's find out if they were saying the truth. So please check out our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for these clips. And this is it for today, guys, and thanks for joining me, and hope you guys have a great lunch. So see you guys tomorrow with more updates. Bye!